Right, so first up, we've got the Nike Court Light 2. Nike Court Light 2. So, oh, what does that mean? I'm assuming that's like basketball terms. I, I know what my point means. No, that's your point fault. me. No, that's not a basketball term. Okay. I wonder what it is. Features a message on its inner soles. Oh, tennis. Oh, oh your you fault. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. There you go. Got That's... a bit of suede action at the front. Yeah, I like this little Nike swoosh here. Oh, yeah. That's nice. But that is some intense suede. Wait, that's all leather, too, along there. That's... Like, what do they call that? Tumbled leather. Tumbled. Call that off-white, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that looks nice. And then on the back... Oh, what is what is that? I don't really know tennis. That's like a tennis court, right? Back, back, like the two sides of the court. Oh, if you're playing doubles? Yeah. But I like playing doubles, that shit's fun. You like doubles? Oh, that's nice, actually. I like that. That's a pretty... Sh I would wear that shoe. You'd wear that one? So this one is releasing tomorrow which is Tuesday, August 20th, for $75. 75 buckaroos. That's it. That is cheap. That is pretty cheap for that. You could buy chips for that, but... A lot of chips. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we've got the Adidas ZX4000 4D okay. in the Easy Mint colorway. Easy Mint. I don't know what the Easy refers to. I don't think it's easy to digest because it's not uh, it's quite a crazy colorway isn't it yeah I don't really like it yeah it's I like the I still always like the midsole and yeah. I like the mint color but yeah the rest of it's a bit um like the yellow toe box the, the blue the it's like you you sort of threw away all of the red fruit loops ate too much of the rest and then threw up what you reckon that's what that looks like. I didn't get that, but yes. <laughs> you know, all Fruit Loops taste the same. Right, there you go. There's no different flavours. There you go. All the colours taste the same. They're lying to the subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so it's just a normal sort of ZX4000 4D. I, I do like the, the silhouette, but yeah, these colours are a little bit, uh, a little bit of a miss. Yeah. Any comments? So always the issue with that though is easy trash. Easy trash. <laughs> the problem with those are just the price point. I think. Yeah. Are they still three hundred and fifty. Three hundred and fifty. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, that's a bit much. They're not. Um, to me, anyway, they're not like um, expensive enough to like wear. Yeah. Like, out. like people wouldn't know. Like, if you wear Yeezys, people know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I sort of guess like you know what you're wearing but like yeah half of the thing that uh, like half of the reason people wear like uh, expensive shoes is because they want a bit they like, want to flex yeah exactly yeah. and I don't think that this uh, but is like, in line with that t like I I'm all for liking what I'm wearing personally but part of that also is liking that they know what that is exactly you know and this is just um, I, I I remember reading when um, Adidas first came out with the Futurecraft Soul that they were looking at expanding it to a point where you would be able to come in in store, stand on a mat, kind yeah, of like the then, athlete's foot mat, yeah. and they would build it, like 3D print it yeah, to match your foot specifically. Yeah. So it would be the most comfortable shoe for you to wear ever. They'd make it right there in store for you to wear. Yep. You'd sort of go away for like an hour, like it's the, the Kit Kat store or something, and you'd come back and pick up what they made you. Yep. And um, yeah, and it was going to be cheap. And I understand things like new technology when it first came out, it's expensive. Like microwaves used to be like a thousand dollars. Yeah. So I, I understand why it's expensive, but I don't think they should keep making colorways like this. They've got to sort of refine the technology a bit and make it cheaper rather than continuously bringing out more shit like this and yeah. saturating the I market I think eventually I'll, I'll probably get a pair if it comes down you know what I mean but yeah yeah. I, I want to see what it's like like compared to Boost yeah yeah that's fair 
I have heard this is more springy. A bit more springy. I think that. this would be easier to easier to um, clean as well because boost it, it stains really easy. Yeah. But this shit, you just like run it under a tap, and shit will just fall straight out. There you go. Got the holes in it like that shoes yeah. did last week or two weeks. Yeah, ago. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, these ones are releasing on Thursday for uh, $350. It's the, the 22nd of August. And actually, on the mint as well, I want to say, recently I've been looking for ice cream. Right. But like, just mint. Right. You can't get it. Like, anywhere. That's not even flavor. Not even on Amazon or anything. Like, I've looked in America. It doesn't exist. It's because that's not a flavor. It is it's a flavor. Weird. No, you can get mint choc chip. Yeah, that makes the, sense. The, the mint and cookies. Makes sense. Which is like the connoisseur one. I've been eating that one a lot recently. That shit is good. But no, just mint. Yeah, because that doesn't make sense. <laughs> How does that not make sense? I like the mint. I don't like chocolate chips. I don't like the cookies. That is weird. I like the mint. You're weird. Mate, they need a mint ice cream. No. What? No one's buying that. <laughs> I would. Just go chew gum. I'm sure... <laughs> Leave a comment if you would buy just mint ice cream. I'm sure there's there's dozens of us. No, just go buy <laughs> chewing gum. I'm sure, like, like I can make, like, like I've got an ice cream maker, so I could just make Probably it. Shit but doesn't taste the same. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not as good. No one here. Yeah. Well, they, they, to be fair, it. they probably got like hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream yeah. makers. I've got a little thirty dollar Kmart one. <laughs> throw that shit away. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on to the Nike Kobe AD Next. Yep. That's them there. They are very futuristic. Whoa. These ones are releasing on Saturday, August 24th for 200 USD. Those look pretty crazy. I don't know how these would go as basketball shoes because they're Kobe, so they, by design, they're basketball shoes. Yeah. But they seem to only have, like, one lace going along the the front of them there they look pretty cool yeah oh they've got a little bit like going up the tongue I love that logo too the Kobe logo yeah, yeah. that's cool I like them they, they're a bit um, a bit different yeah they are out definitely, there definitely um, something that I would wear they look cool yeah I like this is like the deep sea blue like midsole yeah I would like to see a um, low top sort of version of that yeah I don't know what this does. Eject? Probably just... Uh, like, that's how you undo it? Yeah, it's the laces, it looks like. That's fucking sick. <laughs> that is awesome. What does it say on the back here? Oh, I think they're just, like, air holes or something. Yeah. But, yeah, no, these are nice. They are nice. No, I do like the sort of... Like, the see-through swoosh, and you can see what's underneath it. Yeah, that's good. That looks like the Spanish flag on the bottom. It does. But yeah, these are beautiful. Like, I, that's my kind of shoe. Just weird. Yeah, that is a clean shoe. Then uh, next up is the Undefeated and Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro. More, more Kobe's. Yep. A lot more Kobe's. I think it, it says somewhere it's meant to be like a Spurs colorway. Uh, I haven't actually read this. Oh. Yeah, the four. Oh yeah, the team, the colorways representing Los Angeles Lakers, Phoenix Sun, San Antonio Spurs, and the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, give me what do you reckon? Which which one do you reckon's which? Oh okay. Um, well, the Lakers are the purple ones. Uh huh. Bucks are red. Okay. That's a guess. I feel like that's wrong. By the way, you said okay. Okay. <laughs> then what are the other ones? Spurs and the Suns. Yeah. No, I think the Phoenix Suns are the purple ones now. <laughs> I don't fuck. I got no clue. What are they? Well, the purple ones I'm guessing are the Lakers. I think you're right on that one. Okay. Uh, Bucks is the green one. Like but, on the right. Yeah. Yep. But neither of those other two are Spurs <laughs> or Phoenix Suns colors. <laughs> that is what someone in the comments said. They said um, Spurs, Spurs color wear. Yeah. As in color wear. Like yeah, yeah. they don't wear that color. No nowhere anymore they don't they oh the actually ones. yeah they had the aqua ones ages ago like in like yeah. the, in the 80s and 90s so but I like, like that's what, what that why have the colors of the other teams like you know current colors yeah, yeah. and go 
fucking 40 years back for one thing. Is that red or is it orange? I think it's red. Because if it's orange, then it is the sun's, but it sort of looks red. I don't know, maybe it's the lighting. Oh, let's have a look. I think it is. Oh, it might be orange. Yeah, I think they're orange. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, that makes sense. So the Spurs, yeah. So they've old. just got a really old colorway for the Spurs for some reason. Yeah, they're black, like they're, oh. Uh, black color now. Like they're just like all black with like gray. Black and gray. Okay. So it's a weird colorway yeah. to choose for them. <laughs> but yeah, so these ones, uh, we don't actually have a price on these yet, but they are releasing on Saturday. August 24th they go, I don't really like the silhouette they look really old school so maybe that's they do look old school for, yeah so. well to be fair they're going back to the 80s for one colorway yeah, exactly next up we've got a Yeezy releasing the Yeezy, 500 Yeezy, Yeezy. bone white we got the, the three different plain. sizes again they look but they look similar to like the salt they do look very similar to the salts yeah a salt <laughs> So these ones are also releasing Saturday. Uh, adults are 200, kids are 130, and infants are 100. The Wave Runners just got restocked too. They did, yeah. Yesterday. That's <coughs> All right, chuck us a drink. Oh, what are you feeling? Chuck us, pop us in some toast. <laughs> Man, I had some toast this morning. <laughs> uh, pass. I think we need to get some more pass. Yeah, we do, this is the last one. Oh, mate, I feel honored. I don't need to get some uh, more drinks myself. All right. All right. Uh, next up is a collab between Converse and Neighborhood. They're doing two silhouettes. I think we've seen this one last week, didn't we? No. Nah. No, we did. Um, we did Converse and someone last week. Vincent someone. Oh, Vincent there Rubin. You go. Vincent Rubin, I think it was. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Yeah. <sighs> Um, oh Joshua Vides and yeah that was a Chuck 70 collab this is another Chuck 70 and the Jack Purcell Jackie so that's the uh, the Chuck 70s there they say they're bringing back motorcycle culture into sneakers I don't know when motorcycle culture has ever been in sneakers but I do like it there's also the Jack Purcell's later, but there's uh, yeah, Neighborhood Technical Apparel, Tokyo EST, 1994, Craft with Pride, stock number, etc. It's got Shift <coughs> on yep. the, the on the strap. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that's referring to shifting up a gear or down a gear. Yeah, I would assume so. It's got motorcycle, like sort of stamped oh, in black. Motorsport. <laughs> that's what I thought you were about to say. <laughs> motorsport. Put that thing in sport. sport. <laughs> and then on the back, it's got like the, the Chuck Taylor stamp. They're, they're fairly unchanged apart from that big strap on the side, or on the front. And then the uh, Jack Purcells have like a white stripe sort of going around the the side of the shoe and the toe box. It's got something written on it, like... Neighbourhood Con... Cons, Jack Purcell, like NBHD for neighborhood, yeah. CNS for Converse, cons, yeah. or Converse, yeah, and then yep. JP for... Yep, I think you're onto something there, mate. Mate, that's a whole new language right there. I've got some uh, some kanji written on the back. No oh, idea yeah. what that could say. No idea either. If anyone knows any kanji, let us know what that says. There you go. Mate, this looks like someone like... Right here, it looks like someone's like holding a sword. Like that's his head, that's his arm. There's oh, a sword. Yeah. It's gone down. There's his legs. Yeah. yeah, he's like, like as if he's knighting or being knighted. Like he's kneeling down. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Kenji's cool. But yeah, so these are pretty nice. They are pretty cool. They're I very like um low key as far as collabs go though. Like it's pretty much only the, the strap that's different. That's it. I rate them. Uh, but these ones are releasing also Saturday, the 24th of August. Uh, the Chuck 70s are 150 and the Jack Purcells are 130. Moving on, we've got a Nike Blazer collab with the Cactus 
plant flea market. They call it the sponge by you. Okay. Ask me about the sponge is what the uh, the promo pic says. And it's quite a wild looking wow. shoe. That is wild. That looks like it's taken on a camera from the 90s. <laughs> I don't know if we've got some actual pictures. Okay, we do. Oh, God. That's... Well... That looks like a kitchen from the 60s. That's got... And it, both shoes are different. Um, yeah, actually. One's like quilted. Yeah. One's like... Got the dots. The, oh, that the corduroy. One, oh, like yeah. knitted. One's like knit weave and one's... Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Oh, no, that's... Wait... Are they like the different sides of each shoe? Are they four, yeah, different, four different? That's sides. fucking horrid. That looks pretty cool. That I rate them. That's no, I don't like that one bit. Yeah, they're clean. The, these ones are probably the best. Like the top right, bottom left. I'm not a fan of the other two at all. Nah, I rate them. How much are they? Well, what do they say on the inside? Oh, left and right. Or is that a B? It does look like a B, but it's an R. Oh, no, that's ugly as fuck. Nah, those are clean. Robert's hating on them. Nah, I am hating. Nah, they, these are bad. Nike. You seen those... Um, market. What are you doing? Did you see those Nikes that were like... Um, like the tick went around. It was like a sandal. Oh, sort of yeah, yeah, like yeah. connected yeah. around the back. Yeah, and that was like yeah. what held your foot. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty clean. <laughs> just, just next level. That shit is cringe. Same as like all the, the Jordan high heels and the Timberland heels. Mm. They're weird. So these ones we don't have a price point on, but they are releasing next Tuesday, oh. August twenty seventh. My hands are really sore. Don't know why. Mine, mine are very cold, so they're like aching a bit. Mm. But we've got uh, two shoes got coming two up. Shoes left. Way in the future. Oh, we've got two shoes coming up. Yep. But they're important. Right. There's a Yeezy Boost seven hundred releasing in a teal <laughs> blue. And I think they are the best colorway of the 700 yet. Very reminiscent of the Wave Runner. No, no, no. You're not liking them? No, I like them, but not the best colorway. No, I think they're the best colorway. No. Are we fucking normal photos? No, the blue's a bit too, um... No. A bit too harsh. No, I like that a lot. No. That's very pretty. Analog, mauve, Wave Runner, all better than that. My analogs did come as well. I do have them. Did you bring them? Yeah, they're in there, but couldn't be bothered. I'll wear them next week. <laughs> I, I think I think these are really nice. So they're priced at three hundred, which is standard for the the seven hundreds. Yeah, I like them too. They are nice, but I don't know. It's got too many. Like the one thing that's good about the Wave Runner is that it it just sort of everything goes. Um, that's fair. Like the purple, ah, uh, the the blues and the whites, where this is like black and what, um, black and blue, black and blue don't go. They're a bit too similar. They're not as mm. contrasting, um, but I still do no, like them. Th- these are my favourite colours. Is that the V2s or the V1s? I think V1s. Yeah, that is the V1s, yeah. Um, but yeah, they are releasing in fall of 2019, which is... What's fall? Because we don't really use them much here. Autumn. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Could be wrong about that. Well, I would say because in autumn all the leaves fall. Yeah. So what's the other one? What do they have? I don't know. Spring. Yeah. Do they have spring? I think so. Summer. They definitely have summer. Yeah, they, they have summer and winter, but then we've... Fall. Wait, what do we have? We have autumn and spring. spring yeah. And then they have fall and... No, wait. And they have other stuff. I don't fucking know. They have weird stuff. But that, they don't have what we have. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. And then there is finally the 350 V3 releasing in the alien colorway the extraterrestrial they're yeah. calling it it's quite a wild looking shoe it doesn't actually you can't see the boost from the outside it's covered it is covered the old covered boost so what are you thinking of this um it's a bit crazy <laughs> it is I don't crazy think many people will wear them but like that's like not a very good photo obviously like it's just yeah. like a one photo like it's not um oh we got a few more but like yeah Wait, go up, back up to him wearing it. They don't look bad when he's wearing it. Well, they look bad with the high socks. 
I think they look um, a lot better than what I was expecting. I thought they were a much higher top shoe than. The well, one it now. looks like that here. Like they look really high top. Yeah, but then when he's there. wearing it there, yeah, it appears to be. But like it could be like, like slightly different models yeah. as well. Yeah. But they've come up with a brand new mold for the sole, so it is full boost, and they've got new boost windows. I don't really know what shape this is meant to be, whether it's meant to like resemble anything. But um, yeah, it is full boat, full boost. Whether or not it's exposed. Yeah, it is, I reckon once we see people wearing it, um, I think it'll come around on a lot of people. But we'll yeah. just have to wait and see because I'm assuming this one's coming out um, in quite a while. You would I? be 100 percent correct. Uh, towards the end of the year slash early 2020. 2090. No, 2020. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? That's, that's quite a jump. <laughs> I think Kanye will be alive then. 